the studio. The tireless governor of Borno State, Professor Babagana Zulum, has continued where he stopped in his first term in office. In his characteristic style of governance, Governor Zulum paid a surprise visit to the General Hospital in Goza and expressed dismay over lack of electricity and poor condition at the facility. The governor, who went to the hospital at midnight on Saturday, said it is unacceptable that a critical healthcare facility like that lacked basic amenities such as electricity. He, however, ordered the immediate commencement of rehabilitation works at that hospital. Governor Zulum going to a facility at 12 midnight and then Goza can't be said to be hit too safe. The man is a beast. Ah, ah. The man is a beast. He? I, don't, I don't understand. He was Goza. not even meant to go there. He went to Bama. Everyone knows that Bama, uh, the Bama road is a dangerous road. He decided to go to Bama. And from Bama, he just made up his mind, okay, let me go to Goza. Because he didn't sleep in those places. He still came back to Maiduguri around 2, 3 a.m. That's why I say he's a beast. In the same... You can't, you can't uh, describe his passion, his love for his people. And you know what he did this time that even surprised me? Because normally he will get mad. And he'll say, okay, I'm going to fire you, this and that. But he said, look, we are all to blame. This is not a time for a uh, blame game. That even me, I am. I also share in the blame. But maybe I have not checked in. Yes, time. that this place could be in this state. Now we have to do something about it. Because the hospital in Bama, he, he had committed resources to building that place, making it really modern. But something just told him to go further and go to Goza. We all know Goza. The communities around Goza, people are not living in them mm. because of insecurity. You know, uh, the uh, senator, um, Alim Duma is from Ambagda. Ambagda is a ward under Goza. He has yeah. not gone to his hometown in many years. I said it. I saw him. I asked him. He said, yes. I have not gone to my village. So mm. if he was traveling, he stays in Goza. Mm. You know, because that area, and they have the Madara Mountains, the other side is Cameroon. Those boys, they stay on the mountain. Mm. As you are passing, they are even seeing you. Mm. You know, so there is still a lot of women. Come on, uh, those, those boys, <laughs> forget them. Actually, the Shekau faction, they are the ones occupying that whole area, up to the, the Madara Mountains, up to uh, the Cameroon border. You know, so... For a man who didn't plan to go there, just go there, and what he saw uh, was a surprise to him. No light. What if there is an urgent procedure that doctors had to mm. do? How would they deal with the situation? Without light. Now, what we want to see is for him to quickly go and solve that problem, as he promised. Uh, it's a good thing. He was very mature. By now, portioning blames, but just say, look, we are... 12 midnight. We are all to blame, but we have to solve this problem. Everyone knows that that's his style. You can just, when he went to uh, another town in Borno not, you know, he, uh, that was what happened. Very late. Mm -hmm. Holding touch light. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> He's a... Uh, Hands on. Yes. I remember now when they told the uh, soldier, they said, let us go there, I'm ready. And those ones said, no. You know, that is the fishing town of Baga. He said, why, why should, why have you been here and there is nobody in the town? Let us go there. And the soldiers so, so said, no, we can't go there, sir. And then we, they started hearing gunshots. So in the end, the governor changed his mind. You know, his convoy has been attacked a number of times. Some unreported, though. I'm telling you this, and he's watching me, I'm sure that he knows I'm saying the truth. His convoy, the occasion when his convoy was attacked and it was not reported. So as not to strike fear in people's hearts, but he's a governor extremely committed to, to his work. And uh, I think, uh, like a true Muslim, he believes that only God uh, permits a life to be taken. So mm. if, if uh, he gets killed in the process of working it's for his people, so be it. He's the son of a Muslim cleric, so 
I can see that the fearlessness. faith is very strong and it's fearless. If we have dedicated governors like this across the country, not governors that they want to, um, you know, they want to ride on long convoys and they want to, you know, show us how accessible they are. But this man is so accessible. This man is so down to earth. He's not somebody that I will allow other people to supervise projects. You can see what he has done, risking his life in a state that is not secured. Yes, um, nothing will happen to him in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, nothing will happen to him because he's a man um, that has the welfare of his people at heart. What surprised me about Bono State generally, not just the governor now, is the level of development in Bono State, despite the war going on, mm. quote unquote. Ide and I, we've been to Bono at least twice, that I know that we were involved. There have been some schools that we visited in Bono. As did they, you won't believe those secondary schools in Nigeria. Yeah, they are like, uh, they are like senior buildings of some universities. Hey, why? Hmm. You will not believe those secondary schools are in Bono State. That I, used to, I was asking myself, I, I was asking Jide, I said, ah, Jide is this secondary so what will happen during peace time? Then, this secondary, <laughs> no universities, just as you say, Senate building or some universities, <laughs> secondary school. I was shocked. And you ask yourself, how will they be able to do this despite the level of insecurity in, in that hmm. state? In fact, you know, I, when I, I started, when I, when I really became afraid of this man, hmm. When 100 days in office, mm. some of those modern schools were ready, <laughs> complete with AC and everything. Those big, big those in 100 big, days, big, big delivered. Big. Yes, you know, remember. in 100 days. Well, so when I went, I said, This in 100 days, mm. and everything painted, everything ready, all the chairs, everything they needed were there. I said, four years How ago. can a person be like we'll this? Talk about it. Hey, well, let, yes. me, let, me, let me shock you for, you for you to know the, the level to which what this man is doing. Jide and I. And some of our senior editors were in Bono at one time. We told the chief of my staff, I'm not going to mention him then, that we want to have a tour. <laughs> Did you remember? Yes. You remember vividly? He said he uh, said it should take us. He said it take us here. To Sambisa. He said no. He said no. He said no. He, no. he, said no. he can't take us. To... In fact, he told us that. He said even they themselves. He said even right there, there where we are, we are inside that hall. Her hall. That there the, the, the could be spies who like will tell them, oh, they are bringing journalists to yes. Zambisa. Yes. The next thing they open fire. That is even within the episode, meaning oh. that the environment in itself is not safe. But this man has been systematically going on from one place to another. Make, if you know where Goza is, mm. and back, uh, Bama. back uh, we went to, was it Bama or Bama? We went to that time. Far, 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 far place that we went to. From that, yes, now. Like, it took us hours. Coming back was a, a, it was so. I hope and I believe Friend that other governors. Ulka. Yes, I hope that other governors. Listen, the same area. Other governors are looking at what he's doing, and are seeing what See he what did. did. Wait, Before any he bought he bought uh, Le, buses. Yes, yes. Now for farmers, for palaces, for palaces, 80, palaces. 80, uh, 50 buses and thirty. Uh, anyway, before any story. Before anybody. Anyway, 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 let me shock you. Go and look at FAC every month. That is being released to state. Go and check where Bono State is mm. when it comes to federal government allocation every month. Go and check where Bono is and see what he's doing. So, in out of every this thing, there are always I think go yes. I think there's a way that God has a way of bringing up people mm. and using them to be able to. Uh, praise. We, we praise him what he's doing and we continue to pray. And I believe his people are always praising, praying for him. Mm. Even at a point when he was being uh, to, uh, they, they said, oh, let's say they are going to make him, we want to make him a vice uh, presidential. Right. The man said, no. You rejected this. He is satisfied. Leave me where, just leave me where I am. I am satisfied doing what I did, that he has not even finished his job. And the lawyer for his people. Hmm? I'm and, very lawyer. Yes, very lawyer. Of course yeah. he is. Some he guys will have So, um, yes. Yes. you cannot ask the other guy. are looking for him. You cannot ask, let me tell you also that the ecological fund that most of the other governors mm. get, what do they do with it? Even mm. ecological fund. All right. While prices of goods and services 